everybody welcome back to my channel today i'm going to go to the next recipe in the downton abbey official cookbook and it's actually the last breakfast recipe for the upstairs family and it's pikelets it's actually a very simple recipe and it shouldn't be too hard to put together there is two hours of rising time so we'll have to get through that but otherwise, the recipe seems pretty straightforward. It's kind of like pancakes, but with yeast. So, I hope you're all ready to try pikelets with me. All right, first we need one and three-fourths cups of flour. Two teaspoons of active dry yeast. half a teaspoon of granulated sugar. The recipe says super fine sugar. It's pretty much the same as granulated. It might be a little more fine, but it's sometimes hard to track down. So granulated sugar is just fine. And a half a teaspoon of salt. Okay, and one and a quarter cups of warm milk. I just warmed it up in the microwave. This just gives the yeast a little warm environment to grow up in. All right, we're gonna stir this until it's well mixed. Okay, and now we're gonna cover this with a towel and let it sit for two hours in a warm spot. So we will be back in two hours and finish this up. Okay, so we're buttering this pan. It's on medium heat and it says, she's a little bit, see the mixture is light and bubbly. I don't know if you can see it from here. It's been grown in the pan. So I'm gonna take a quarter cup measuring cup Scoop out some of the batter and it's a little lumpy, no pride on that. It says it'll cook for about three to four minutes on one side and on the other side two to three minutes. So um, definitely going to be fast forwarding that for your benefit. It didn't say to mix it again after it's been rising so there are some lumps in here. I'm interested to know how they're going to cook out and how it's going to turn out in the very end. It's bubbling up just like a pancake would. So when the sides start to dry out but the top is still tacky, that's when we're going to flip. And we should have about, when we're done, about 8 to 12 pikelets. Nope, not ready to flip. <laughs> this is what we call a learning process. Okay, yeah, it looks just like a pancake. There's a big difference in the yeast. We don't usually have that in pancakes here in the United States. Okay, that's a brown. I am not sure about using butter on the pan, especially at this heat. It fell apart. Let's try another one. I've turned down the heat because that heat is obviously way too hot for what we actually wanted to achieve here. It's just like a pancake. It says it's served with butter, so that's what we'll do. 
We're not going to use maple syrup like we would with pancakes. I know I'm supposed to use butter, but we're going to use some oil. I feel like it heats better. The smoke detector. Oh, that one turned out the best one so far. I think that's pretty much what it's supposed to look like with all the little holes on the side of it. That's the best one. This is the one I'm going to taste. I'm going to taste the one with the butter too, so I know the flavor, but I'm going to test the oil one because it seems to cook the best. Okay, the cookbook suggests putting lots of butter on top before you eat it. So we're going to do that. I'm not going to try this one. This is my uh, first pancake and that's the one we're going to ditch. All right, here's some pikelets. I'm gonna try the one with butter first, cooked in butter. Hmm, it's very good. And it's very simple. It's amazing how something so simple can turn into such a comfort food. Mm -hmm. That one is delicious. Now let's try the one that I cooked in oil. Try to see if there's a difference in texture or taste or anything. It's more of a crispy outside, but I lathered it with so much butter, it doesn't taste any different as far as flavor. So it's a good one. I don't think it would replace my usual pancake recipe just because it takes so long to raise the batter. And pancakes, you just mix it and go. So, fruit is good. I'm glad I tried it out. Let me know how you take your pikelets if you eat them. Or if you don't, let me know how you take your pancakes. I hope you all have a great day. Don't forget to subscribe because I have more fun things on the way. Uh, this was the last breakfast recipe. So next we're going to start on supper and lunch for the upstairs for Downton Abbey. And of course I have many other variety of videos coming up for you. I hope you all have a great day. Bye!